have this morning, and that is why did this happen? And right now, we just don't know. But one local congressman tells WBTV a doctor-patient relationship may be a factor in all of this. WBTV's Liliana Pearson is joining us live in Rock Hill to continue our team coverage. And Liliana, uh, good morning to you. What are we hearing now about Dr. Leslie and the accused shooter knowing one another? Good morning. So last we heard, investigators are telling us they are looking into a possible relationship between the Leslie's and Philip Adams. But right now, as this investigation continues, there's just not a lot of answers that they can give to people uh, that I'm sure are wanting them right now as they're waking up this morning. But we did talk to a longtime uh, friend of the Leslie family, South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman. Representative Norman told our team he was told by law enforcement that like many other Rock Hill residents, Robert Leslie was Adams' doctor. The congressman says he was told Dr. Leslie had stopped giving Adams medicine, and that's what triggered the killings. When asked about that by reporters, York County Sheriff Kevin Tolson said it was not his agency that said that. Did you say that I guess he was treating Adams, or it was your understanding that he had treated him? My understanding, him? he was treating him, and uh, had, uh, had, to my understanding, stopped giving him medicine, and that's what triggered the killings, from what I understand. Hearing that from law enforcement, so I'm just trying to, I want to be careful with anything that, you know, is that close to the investigation. Yeah, I heard that from law enforcement. Uh, can't confirm it, no indication of it, and that's certainly something we'll, we are looking into. Again, I think I was asked, the first question I was asked, uh, was there a doctor-patient relationship? We have no indication right now that there was a doctor-patient relationship between Dr. Leslie and Philip Adams. There have been some questions from the community whether or not Adams may have had chronic traumatic encephalopathy. This is something somebody can get when they suffer repeated concussions, but the only way you can know if somebody has CTE is if an autopsy is done. And we are still waiting on an autopsy report from the York County coroner. As soon as we have that information and we get new information from investigators, we'll be sure to keep you updated. In Rock Hill, I'm Liliana Pearson, WBTV on your side. All right, Liliana.